Now we're going to move on to the leaves. So I'm going to rinse off my brush and I've got this wonderful lump of yellow. You can see it's a huge piece like that. It's, it's the, it's, this is the real thing. This is made from the uh, sap from a vine. It's actually poisonous so don't suck your brush. Uh, it, there is no substitute for this yellow. This, this, this is the best stuff. So I'm taking some yellow on the brush and I'm going to mix it with my green. So I've got some green in the middle here. I'm going to mix that in. And I take a bit of this colour. I don't know what it is. It's sort of bluish, blackish. It's a nice muddy colour which will work well on the end of the, the brush. And I'm going to go here and apply that. That's the calyx. And here. And the brush again is going to be sideways on. There are many different kinds of leaves. You can do them round, you can do them elongated. I'm going to show you some elongated leaves. Add that in in a lighter color in the background like that. I'm going to add some stems to these like that and some leaves coming off these stems. And you see there's, there's quite a bit of red on my brush because they're young leaves like that. And I'll do a stem coming down from here you want to Aim for the center of the flower and bring it down from the center like that. So that goes like that. And of course we need more leaves over here. And see I'm being quite casual with the uh, pattern of the leaves. I'm not being too deliberate with it because you want a sense of the, the, the flowers dancing in the wind, the leaves are dancing in the wind. I've got to add a little bit more water to the brush there so that the next leaves are a little lighter. Putting a little bit of brown on. Like that. So, basically we've got our leaves. I've, I've grouped them round the flower. Uh, it's like the courtiers standing around the fine lady. And now all we need to do is add the stems. 